Hello friends, this video is created by Sadhar Tupadhyay, founder and creator of Prep Wings. Log on to www.prepwings.com for complete free course videos. Okay, in this video we'll talk about introduction about reading comprehension. So reading comprehension or RC is one of the most important topics of the GRE exam. In a verbal section of 20 questions, about 10 questions will be based on RC. Okay, so that's about 50%. A GRE RC can be a short passage or a long passage. Short passages are usually 200 to 250 words long and have 1 to 3 questions. Long passages are usually 300 to 400 words long and have 3 to 5 questions. So a typical GRE RC can be on the following topics. It can be a social science RC or an arts RC or a physical science RC or a biological science RC. Okay, this is a typical GRE RC. You can get an RC outside of these topics also. Okay, the important point to note is that there is no prior subject knowledge required to correctly answer the RC questions. Okay, so if you are an engineer and if you get a literature RC, do not get worried, okay, because you don't need any prior knowledge to answer the questions. You just need to understand the RC over there and then answer the questions, okay. Similarly, if you are coming from a literature background and if you get an RC on biology, don't get worried again, okay, but because you just need to understand the RC and then answer the questions, okay. So just be confident. And just try to understand the RC. That is the main key. Now for the RC question, half of the screen will have the passage and the remaining half will have the question based on the passage. If the passage is long, then you see a scroll bar on the passage side. Okay, so this is how the question is presented on the exam. Now comprehension means understanding. Thus, reading comprehension means understanding what you read. Okay, so understanding the RC is of utmost importance. Okay, the GRE RC questions test the following skills. It tests your ability to understand the passage. It tests your ability to see the relationships between different elements in the passage. It tests your ability to draw out conclusions and your ability to find details in the passage when necessary. Okay, but ultimately what I say that the first point says ability to understand the passage. If you are able to understand the passage, then you will be able to see the relationships, you will be able to draw out the right conclusions and you will be able to find the details from the passage. Okay, so whenever you read an RC, just concentrate on understanding what you are reading. Okay. That is that should be your main objective for an RC. Okay, thus we conclude that whenever we encounter reading comprehension questions, we'll first focus on understanding the passage and only then we'll move to the questions. Okay, so in the next few videos, we'll cover how you can improve your reading skills, how to approach a passage, what kinds of RC questions you can encounter, and how to read in an engaged manner. Okay, so this is all about the introduction of reading comprehension. Thanks a lot for watching this video.